please give a round of applause to our Jazz Combo One for their work. Well done. Thank you for coming today, appreciate it so much. Um, we're gonna kick off this event in case you need to stand up and stretch. The fight song will help you do that. WIU Pep Band, what the fight song? So we thank our young musicians for being here today. The jazz combo under the direction of Dr. Michael Stryker and the pep band under the direction of Dr. Matt Thomas. So good morning. I am Paul Kreider, Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communication, and it's wonderful to have you here today. What we celebrate today has been a long time in coming. So it's great to have you with us here for this ceremonial groundbreaking of the WIU Performing Arts Center. This center will not only provide state-of-the-art rehearsal and classroom spaces worthy of our talented students and this great university, but also state-of-the-art performance facilities that will serve this entire region of Illinois. We have a brief program today with several speakers and many people to acknowledge and thank. We also have a reception to follow the program. To start things off, please welcome to the podium the Governor of the State of Illinois, the Honorable Pat Quinn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here today. It's a special day, and I think we're all leathernecks today. We all believe in Western Illinois University and in Western Illinois. And it's important that every part of our state uh, feel that it, we're all in this together, everybody in and nobody left out. And having a performing arts center in Western Illinois at this great university will really be an anchor for generations to come. And I want to thank everyone involved in making this happen. We had great, great leadership from the university over many, many years. Particularly want to thank uh, President Goldfarb for his commitment to this and Paul as well. Uh, we believe in music and arts and theater, not only for their own sake, and it's important that all of us have that in our lives. It helps make us better people, but it's also important for our economy. Uh, just building this center will involve literally hundreds of jobs. Good, hardworking men and women will have an opportunity to build something that's very special that'll last long after we're on this earth. It's going to be an energy efficient building that involves the latest in water conservation and renewable technologies. It's important that every building that we build with the people of Illinois' money be done in a positive way that helps save energy, especially in these hard times of very high uh, gas prices and uh, prices of fuel and energy. We've got to understand that part of our mission is to be as uh, far-reaching and foresighted as possible in building things that have energy efficiency built into them, use renewable technologies wherever possible, preserve our water. We can't take that for granted. So it's very important that this building that we're building uh, be one that uh, really stands out as a tribute to uh, what is called LEED certification. That means that it's energy efficient, it's going to get an award for that, and we want to do other buildings like that in the state of Illinois 
not only with our public funds, but with our private funds as well. We have to have a green way of thinking and a green way of acting in Illinois and in America. And we can do this. And it's very, very important that every part of our state uh, participate in this mission. So when these young students, when they're my age, and they come back to their alma mater, Western Illinois University, and play again in the Performing Arts Center, we want to make sure that it has saved taxpayers money along the way in its energy costs and the cost of operating the building. And it's important that this building be seen not only as a structure, but really as a place where education takes place every single day. It's important to have a facility that students from all over Illinois and all over this country and all over this world, when they come to Western, when they come to Macomb, uh, get the very best education they can. And the arts are very, very important to all of us in Illinois and in our country. And we want to have the best arts program possible and to have a facility that not only helps the students and their teachers and the staff here at the university, but also involves the entire community, not just the Macomb and McDonough County, but all of Western Illinois. It's so important that we acknowledge the people, every part of our state, uh, especially in this area of the state where we have such strong agriculture, we understand in Illinois that the heart of our economy is the heart of agriculture. 40% uh, of our jobs in Illinois come from agriculture. And there are students who come through these doors. They're going to participate in some way or another, not only in agriculture, but in other businesses as well. And we want them to get a good, well-rounded education. We want them to learn what they might have in their major, but also be able to go to a performing arts center, see a concert, see a play, uh, really broaden their horizons. And it's very important that all of us in Illinois constantly seek to improve ourselves and to make our life and those around us better. And I do want to thank those who made this possible in the Illinois General Assembly. I'll be hearing from Senator John Sullivan, my good friend, who is just tireless when it comes to being a strong voice for Western Illinois. Every time I talk to John, he has a new project, and I look forward to working with you on many of those projects, John. I also want to thank your new representative, Noreen Hammond, who's with us and is going to be speaking. My good friend, Kurt Dillard, is here, Senator Kurt Dillard from Hinsdale. I grew up in Hinsdale, Illinois, in western suburbs, uh, and many of my friends from school went to Western Illinois University. This is a great university. We should be very, very proud of all of our universities in Illinois. Uh, we have to understand that education is the key to prosperity in the 21st century. We cannot ever uh, relax and uh, flag in our devotion to making sure we have the best education in uh, Illinois. We don't want any state to out-educate us, whether it's early childhood education or kindergarten through 12th grade. We have 48 community colleges in Illinois, but we are very, very proud of our four-year public universities, just like this one. There are so many graduates of Western Illinois that have really excelled in life across our state, indeed across our country. In particular, I want to acknowledge all the graduates uh, and those who are serving, uh, who have, are learning today at the university, who have served in our military. We owe them a permanent debt of gratitude for de uh, defending our democracy, defending our right to learn and to uh, participate in all the daily life of uh, a democracy. It's important that we, when our students, our veterans come back to a university like this one, uh, that we treat them with great honor and respect. That's what the GI Bill of Rights is all about. That's what America is all about. And certainly that's what Illinois is all about. So on behalf of the people of Illinois, I want to say thank you uh, to all of those who work so hard on this movement to get a performing arts center built. And without further ado, uh, I think we're next going to hear from our great state senator from Western Illinois. That's John Sullivan. Take it from there, John. You know, there's a first time for everything. <laughs> thank you very much, and thank you, Governor Quinn. Thank you for being here. Uh, 
You know, it, it just seems like it's, uh, this has been such a long time coming. I think back nine or ten years ago when I first had the discussion uh, here on the university campus about this Performing Arts Center and what it would mean for the university and, and how important it was to the university. And, uh, and, and now we're to this point today where we can actually are going to do a, a groundbreaking. I'm not sure if it's inside or outside, but the fact that we're actually going to break ground here is just, uh, it is such a, an important day. But, you know, this would not be possible without the passage of a capital bill for this, in the state of Illinois. And two or three years ago, I guess maybe going on three years ago now, the General Assembly passed a $31 billion capital bill. And the funding for this Performing Arts Center, it was in that capital bill. And that capital bill would not have happened. I, many, many people working many, many years to try to cap to pass a capital bill in the state of Illinois. Three, four, five years, just year after year, we were trying to pass it, and we simply could not get it done, and it was because we didn't have leadership at the top of the state. Uh, the former governor, not to be mentioned today, uh, <laughs> there simply wasn't the trust there to, uh, uh, from the General Assembly and members of the General Assembly to pass that capital bill, but when Governor Quinn came in, the trust level rose dramatically, and the General Assembly then started having serious discussions about passing a capital bill and why that was important to the state of Illinois all across the state. And, uh, and with his leadership, uh, it ultimately happened. Now, to pass a capital bill takes kind of two votes, you might say. The first one is the, the vote to spend the money, to put the projects in there. The Performing Arts Center was in the capital bill. It was identified in the capital bill. That's the easy vote. Everybody votes for the spending part of it. That's the easy vote. The tough vote is the second vote, and that's how you're going to pay for it. Where are you going to get the money to repay those bonds? That's the tough vote. And I tell you what, it was done in a bipartisan manner. Democrats, Republicans, House and Senate came together. We identified a revenue source to repay those bonds so, so, so that we could actually do the construction. And there's a lot of people that need to be recognized for that, uh, including... Uh, Senator Dillard, who's already been identified. Senator Kimberly Lightford, I want to give a shout out for her. She's a WIU graduate and uh, also uh, somebody who uh, uh, Kurt and I often have conversations with her about uh, Western and uh, the needs over here in Western Illinois. So I want to mention her as well. Uh, obviously, Representative Rich Myers is not with us here today, uh, but he is in spirit. And, and Rich was, uh, has been a tremendous supporter of WIU and uh, certainly of the Performing Arts Center, Center project. So uh, I want to say uh, a shout out to Rich and, and certainly his family uh, for his hard work as well. You know, Senator uh, Laura Kent Donahue is in the crowd with us, and I know Laura is uh, uh, you know, a huge proponent of Western, has worked, worked very hard for the university here, and certainly want to say, uh, give her a shout out as well. You know, the, the benefits, um, oh, one other person, uh, if you, a, few of, a few of you recall, uh, Mr. President, uh, when uh, Senate President Emil Jones and I were here at the university, I don't know, was that three or four years ago now? It's time gets biased, but, you know, when we were over here and we announced the, uh, uh, the initial money for, uh, to, to begin the planning process for the, uh, for the Performing Arts Center, Center that, was, uh, that was a great day as well. But the Performing Arts Center, the Performing Arts Center uh, for the university, uh, it, it's going to be a tremendous recruiting tool for the university here. Uh, we, we know that the jobs, the construction jobs that it's going to create, and I know some friends from labor are here in the audience with us, uh, those are going to be good uh, construction jobs. Uh, but, in, but in the end, it's going to be uh, uh, the, 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 the asset that is going to be to the university here is, is going to be tremendous. And I just want to say thanks to literally hundreds and hundreds of people, both from the university and from the community and from the region that have been supportive of this project. I also want to say thank you to the faculty and staff here at the university for their strong support as well. Thank you very much. Okay, well, I, I want to thank John, and, and John mentioned Representative Hammond, uh, and all of us, I think, in our heart know that Rich Myers, who uh, devoted his uh, service in Springfield to strong, strongly advocating the interests of the people of Western Illinois, and especially this university. Maureen worked with him along the way. I know Representative Myers is uh, very proud of us today. And on behalf of uh, the district that is represented now by Noreen Hammond, uh, we want Noreen to come forward and speak about uh, the great uh, work that uh, we plan to do. Okay? Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Um, thank you, Governor Quinn, not only for your support, but for your physical presence here. We, um, as a community, very much appreciate that, and I think it, it speaks highly of the support that the governor will continue to give Western Illinois and Western Illinois University. Um, I want to thank Senator Sullivan for his tireless efforts in all of this. Um, many have been mentioned, Senator Dillard, Senator Donahue, um, Senator Lightford, and um, also I think we need to remember Senator Sieben, who worked very hard on this. Um, many representatives who are also um, WIU alum, um, my good friend Renee Kozel, um, Representative Mitchell, and uh, Representative O'Brien, and um, I think we um, need to remember Representative Tim Osmond, who um, also passed away a few years back, and um, to my dear friend, Representative Myers. This project was his heart and soul, and a, a lot of that was due to what you folks said about the project, what the project would do for the area. You were constantly pounding on his door, and I thank you for that. Because of that, um, this day is a reality. And I could mention a lot of names, but um, you all know um, who you are. You saw me, and um, we would talk about the project and how much it would do for this area, and I think the economic engine that will be created by this project will be immediate when it starts, and it will be ongoing, and um, it will be a real boon, not just for Western Illinois University, but for Macomb and the surrounding area. And um, I hope we're all here very soon for the first performance in the new Performing Arts Center. So um, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Governor, and also thank you, President Goldfarb. Well, I think we ought to give the pep band and the uh, jazz band that played before I got here another round of applause. Uh, <laughs> And I also think it's important to acknowledge those who give it their time, you know, to be a trustee of this university. Uh, you don't get paid any time or overtime. It's a labor of love. And uh, we have President-elect Jack Thomas here the, of the WIU Board of Trustees. We want to thank uh, Jack for his service, as well as other Board of Trustees members, Carolyn El Ellert uh, Fuller and Bill Griffin and Steve Nelson and Bill Epperly. You know, it's important that we have good leadership at all of our universities in Illinois and I want to thank uh, the trustees for their service and time. Uh, it's important, I think, to know exactly what's going to go on here. This is a major building project. It is the biggest project of the Capital Development Board of the State of Illinois that we're undertaking. It involves millions of dollars, hundreds of jobs, and with us today is the Executive Director of the Capital Development Board. Without further ado, we're going to have Jim Underwood to explain a little bit about the whole program. Jim, take it from there. Thank you. Good morning. It's a, a true pleasure to be here today. I'm involved in all aspects of building projects from the idea stage to the design stage to the, uh, the bidding and the constructions, but it's events like this that are my favorite to attend. It means we're getting ready to put people back to work and it's just very exciting to be there. Uh, we're a very proud Capital Development Board to be uh, part of this project. We administer all state-funded uh, non-road construction projects in Illinois. As the governor mentioned, this will be our largest project. We're sure everyone here will be proud of this building and we are also proud of it in the fact that we have other dozens of other buildings going up in education across the country or across the state. Uh, you heard about the Capitol bill being passed. Uh, very thankful that that was a very great effort with the help of our legislators here today and the governor. And so it's a great, great event to be here today. The Performing Arts Center will employ hundreds of construction workers. I know we have some of our trade representatives here today and they'll be excited to get their members to work. It'll also provide enhanced opportunities for Western students once it's completed 
and let them get into the workforce with better jobs. The Performing Arts Center will also, as the governor mentioned, it'll use some of the latest features in green design. It'll use less energy and uh, have a, less of an impact on the environment than traditional construction. And we're very proud to lead the governor's green building initiative in Illinois. I'd like to recognize uh, our design and construction professionals that are with us here today on this project. Architects Cannon and OWPNP, Principal Charles Smith is with us here today. Charles. Thank you. <laughs> Fine Arts Consultative Creative Architect Pelly Clark Pelly and Principal Mitchell Hirsch. Uh, affiliated Engineers and their Principal in Charge Paul Petska and commissioning, commissioning Agent KJWW. Our construction team is led by our construction administrator, Ron Wright. He's with us here today. Ron, over here. Ron has a, a WIU graduate from last year's class, and he has a freshman coming in this year. Both are uh, Leatherneck soccer players, so he's very familiar with this campus. I'd also like to recognize our project manager, Rich Myers, with us here today. Rich, thank you. <laughs> Lastly, uh, I'd like to thank President Goldfarb and Western Illinois University for uh, being a wonderful partner in this venture. It's been a long time coming. I congratulate you on today's uh, groundbreaking of the Performing Arts Center, and I'm looking forward to coming back for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you. You know, I think it is important, as been mentioned, this building has to be built by craftsmen, men and women who know how to get the job done and get it done under budget, on time. And I do want to acknowledge our tradesmen who are here today. It's very important that we work together. We also understand how important it is that Macomb and Western Illinois be connected to the rest of the state. Uh, we believe in uh, fast trains. We're building a fast train from Chicago to St. Louis. We want to make sure we have fast and uh, real fast trains going from Chicago to Macomb and on to Quincy. And uh, one of us, uh, the folks who are here today who really is committed to this project and the former mayor of Macomb, and that's the current chairman of the Abtract Board of Directors, and that's Tom Carper. I want to acknowledge Tom for his great work and for his service. Uh, we also want to acknowledge other former mayors of Macomb. Bob Einstein is with us, as well as Mike Houston, who is going to be the new mayor of Springfield and uh, chair of the Board of Trustees at Western Illinois University. I served as state treasurer and worked with Mike uh, when he was working for a local bank, and we look forward to working with Mike as a mayor. We also understand the new mayor-elect is uh, uh, coming on board very shortly, Mike Inman, but it is an opportunity for the current mayor Mayor Mick, to come forward. Mick, come on, uh, Mick Wesley, and uh, we want to hear from you as well on behalf of the people of Macomb. Okay? Good morning. It's a great day for Macomb and Western Illinois University and our West Central region because uh, the comments were made about the economic engine that the university has, and we really, really, really believe in that. Uh, Lobbying for the Performing Arts Center has been a true community university effort and further demonstrates a collaboration that is essential, essential between the town and the university. I'd like to thank everyone for coming together to rally for this center. And I think all you guys, like uh, Representative Hammond said, you know who you are. And thanks for being part of the solution. God bless you. Well, I think this is absolutely correct. The university is an economic engine for Western Illinois. Our state has had 14 straight months of uh, unemployment decline. We want to keep that uh, economic recovery going. We were fourth in the nation last year in job creation, first in the Midwest. A key to doing this is having a strong university system like Western here, having lots and lots of road building and road reconstruction and bridge building and bridge safety. This summer we're going to have the biggest road program in the history of Illinois, and I want to thank our senators and representatives for helping us make that possible. But you also have to have great leadership. Uh, this university has been blessed by a great, great president, somebody who has uh, vision. Uh, we're going to uh, miss him. Uh, he's moving on, as you know, at the end, I guess, of this year. Uh, but I certainly have enjoyed working with uh, President Goldfarb. And without further ado, I want to have Al Goldfarb come forward and say a few words. Al?
don't know if my wife was the first one to stand up or not. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone for being here today. And actually, before I do some additional thanks, I know that Dean Kreider has worked uh, very diligently on this project and also has a number of people he'd like to uh, thank personally. Uh, but I know he and I are the only two things that stand between uh, actually getting out there and using a shovel. So I'll invite Paul up here, and then I promise I will speak very quickly. Paul, do you want to come up and uh, thank a few people? Thank you, Dr. Goldfarb. Um, a lot of people have been acknowledged today, but I want to make sure, and everybody has said, uh, you know who you are. I want to make sure everybody knows who they are. Okay, so we had a 2002 planning committee that Dr. Goldfarb had constituted when he arrived on campus to lobby and create a performing arts center that would be able to be uh, funded at the state level. Those people that served on that 2002 committee are Tom Carper, who was the mayor at the time, Lorraine Epperson, Gene Kozlowski, former Dean Jim Butterworth, Chair of Theater David Patrick, Andrew Potter, Bill Brewer, Bill Bratton, Rich Myers, Mark Hansen, Chair of Music at the time, Dan Maxwell, Earl Bracey, Gary Johnson, and Christy Steelman. There were other individuals in 2005 who uh, came together and formed an advocacy committee. And this committee basically lobbied the state government for release of the planning funding. And you can see from these names that this was really a university and community effort. Bill Butcher, Kristen Dunstan, Lisa Patterson, Kim Pierce, Catherine Walker, Becky Paulson, Mayor Mick Wislead, John McGuire, David Thompson, Jamie Ulmer, and Greg Turner. So show them your appreciation with your applause, please. I want to acknowledge the folks who came together to basically work with our architectural teams, uh, who were fantastic to work with, one of the most rewarding experiences of my career. And those people who served on that 2007 through 2009 Planning and Design Committee are Dr. Bruce Briney, Ann Comerford, Lorraine Epperson, Michael Hott, our project manager at the university, Steve Knowles, David Patrick, Andy Potter, Bart Shanklin, Christy Steelman, Mike Music, Candace Winters March, Terry Solomonson, Mick Wislead, Jeannie Woods, Lee Alexander, who was a student at that time, and also another student, Patrick Downing. And we owe these people a debt of gratitude for their time and service on this project. Please thank them. Other people have been acknowledged today, and I, I do want to thank our vice presidents who have, who have supported this project since I've been here. So please thank Brad Boehner, Gary Johnson, and Jackie Thompson for their support of this project. Thank you. I first, before I leave the microphone, I have to say one thing, and that is there has been one person who has been the number one supporter of the arts in Macomb for at least my time here, and that's been seven years, and that's been Dr. Al Goldfarb. We thank you so much. I know there have been lots of thank yous. I have to do them one more time as well. Um, I first want to thank uh, Governor Quinn for traveling to Macomb today in a very busy schedule, as I think you all know. His presence really underscores how significant this project is. Um, and the project wouldn't have been a reality, as uh, Senator Sullivan pointed out, if it had not been a capital bill that the governor signed. And the governor did say to me when he arrived, he was a little uh, sorry that he didn't wear any purple today, but we're going to remedy that for him. Um, he will have purple to wear on his way back to Springfield today. The governor. I also want to thank Director uh, Jim Underwood, who I know is going to be here to visit the project many times, and we want to make sure he's wearing the right hat also. So uh, when Director Underwood is here, he will wear this proudly, I know, as well. Thank 
Don't, don't, don't let uh, Mr. Wright steal that from you when he visits his daughter uh, playing soccer for us. Um, we've mentioned our local legislators, and very clearly John Sullivan uh, worked so strongly to uh, get the release of the, origin the planning funds originally. As he mentioned, he was here with uh, Senator Jones. Um, we've mentioned uh, Senator, uh, Representative Myers. Um, you know, Representative Myers was passionate about this project. And, um, I know that uh, Representative Hammond will continue that tradition as well. Uh, Mayor Wislet, um is extremely important to making this project happen, as was the Chamber of Commerce and uh, uh, MADECO as well. They did a postcard writing campaign that actually made the project a reality, in my opinion, um, in terms of making people understand how important it was to this region. Um, uh, Senator Laura Kentani, who's been mentioned already, um, she uh, talked to me about this project the minute I arrived here at Western in 2002. Um, Senator Kirk Dillard, I know he is constantly lobbying for Western Illinois University. He always asked me the minute he walked in, what's the next building you need here on campus? Um, and I really, um, I, I re he'll be working you, Governor, in a moment. Um, Zach Stamp, who couldn't be here today, sent me an email, a former WIU Board of Trustee member I know worked with Senator Dillard as well on this um, in terms of the advocacy for getting that initial uh, uh, planning money budgeted as well back in 2002. Um, Paul has mentioned many, many people on campus who've worked on this uh, project as well. Uh, two individuals have passed away, actually, since we began work on this project. Gene Kozlowski and Jim Butterworth deserve to be remembered um, in terms of their great support for the arts here as well. Obviously, I want to thank our, uh, all of our staff members, our physical plant members, all of the individuals involved as well. It is a pleasure, though, actually, to m mention someone and introduce someone um, who is, uh, uh, has not been mentioned yet and to whom we really need to express our deepest gratitude. Um, and that is one of our retired administrators, one of our retired WIU employees, Tate Lindahl. Tate, will you please stand? <laughs> stay standing, I'll embarrass you a little bit if you'd like to stay standing. <laughs> um, or you can be, remain seated as well. Um, the reason Tate can do what, what he'd like to do is I have to indicate that Tate has committed a very significant seven-figure bequest that will underwrite the maintenance of the Performing Arts Center. Um, it is a remarkable bequest and it is a remarkable commitment to this facility. And um, I think Tate, more than anyone in this room, deserves a major round of applause for that kind of commitment. <laughs> Those of you who know Tate know he's a passionate arts lover. Actually, he told me in, a, in just a recent meeting that he discussed this uh, performing arts center with Ralph Wagner, who many of you, I think, know was a former vice president for advancement and a uh, president. And um, he said he discussed this project with Ralph in the early 1980s. I did tell him I've seen drawings, actually, that go back to the 1970s. So um, it is amazing how long this project has taken and how long he has stayed committed to wanting to see a project like this um, occur. We really appreciate um, We really appreciate this uh, very generous uh, bequest. We appreciate his continued support and loyalty to Western Illinois University, and we're really pleased that the center will now be a reality and that your gift will support it into the future and make sure that it is supported well into perpetuity. So it is a great gift. Again, let us, let us again give it Tate a great round of applause. When I was hired nine years ago, the Board of Trustees emphasized two key, two key facilities projects, the Quad Cities Campus and the Performing Arts Center. Um, I think they knew the Performing Arts Center would be close and near and dear to my heart as a professor of theater and the former dean of fine arts. Um, the PAC had been requested, as I mentioned, for over 30 years, and uh, Western, uh, for 30 years, had also not received a state-funded new facility on this campus. I'm pleased that as I retire, both projects are now underway, and I look forward as a former Dean of Fine Arts and Professor of Theater to attending the first events at the new Performing Arts Center. I cannot express how happy I am today and how pleased I am that the day before my retirement reception on this campus, that we are breaking ground on what will be the cultural center of West Central Illinois, and I can't express my great appreciation to everyone who's made this happen. Um, I do want to invite everyone, um, because we are really going to break ground um, in a ceremonial groundbreaking, I want to invite you immediately west of the recital hall to, uh, to that ceremonial groundbreaking. I'd also like to invite somebody very special to that as well to join the stage party to do that. I would like to invite Dr. Jack Ch Thomas to join the st stage party to join and participate in that groundbreaking. Since I know as the new president of Western Illinois, Jack will make certain that completion of this project is a top priority, otherwise I will haunt him. Um, and I do know his cell phone number. 
Um, I also want to let everyone know that following the groundbreaking, you're all in, uh, invited to please join us for a reception in the Multicultural Center, another wonderful new facility on this campus that our students helped fund. I want to thank in particular the students who participated today. They show why we need a performing arts center. I want to thank all of you who have attended. I do ask that as we leave, it's just like graduation, if you would wait for the stage party to leave, um, then follow out the stage party. Um, just west of here, where you can watch us use shovels to dig around on the new performing arts center. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much.